Hello, welcome fellow colorist. Jody here. I am going to do a short video today. I wanted to get this out in a timely manner because April was my birthday month um, and I wanted to quickly address and thank all the people that uh, gifted me some wonderful coloring and craft related items and I wanted to do that in a timely manner. So I'll include a few of the items that I purchased myself just um, because I was at Michael's. I'm always checking out the clearance bin. So we'll start off with a clearance item. So in the clearance bin uh, for $3, it was a $9.99 and I picked it up for $3, was a six pack of light brown acrylic paint. And they're just in the small tubes or small bottles. They have a swatch on top. And I thought that they were great. They kind of reminded me all of skin tones or earthy colors. And I thought they would be great for using in backgrounds. And I like the fact that they were already swatched on the top. There's no name, uh, color names or anything on them, but uh, that's fine, I don't need them. So it's six bottles, two fluid ounces each um, of acrylic paint. Another uh, acrylic paint related item was I picked up, uh, the other acrylic paint that I got a couple of months ago ended up all being metallic and they were in the clearance bin. These ones were not in the clearance bin, but they were a four set and they were called coastal colors. So they're matte acrylic paint. Uh, so that is a difference than the other ones, which I have are all um, metallic. So I received coral, beach glass, a silver and pool blue. And these are items or all of these acrylic paints I use as backgrounds and right now I'm doing a series on backgrounds and I have used uh, acrylic paint in fact I used this pool blue uh, recently in a couple of backgrounds that I did film the series on backgrounds just started last week next week or actually this uh, Friday will be a video on acrylic paint so I look forward to seeing that the background series is going to go on uh, for a little while I'm going to cover a whole bunch of backgrounds so um, if you've got a favorite background uh, that you want me to cover just uh, drop a comment below so I got a couple of books from my son for uh, my birthday um, I got Johanna's Christmas and I also got Johanna Bassard's Room of Wonders so the Christmas book I was quite excited because I didn't have it uh, before and we don't really get a lot of time uh, Christmas was, is usually a very busy time and lots of people have so many Christmas books uh, and pictures to color that I thought it would be nice to do a Christmas in July. So in July I'm going to be doing a bunch of Christmas uh, pictures and uh, so yeah so I thought it was great to have this book and it'll be included in my Christmas in July. And then Rooms of Wonder I uh, did not had not purchased before. I do have a buddy color set up this month if we're going to be doing this page with uh, kaleidoscopic uh, Laura in the UK so look forward to me coloring in this book in May so pretty pretty thankful that my son uh, understands my love of coloring and then I got a gift card sent to me by Amanda colors so I really appreciate that Amanda I asked her if she had this book uh, because I would like to pick a book that she also has so we can do some buddy colors in it and stuff. So she said she did have this book. So this is my first R.J. Hampson book and it's A Frog's Tale, a Mr. Fogarty coloring book. Uh, so this is uh, Amazon printed paper, but it's actually not, not too bad. It's single sided. The pictures are adorable. So I'm looking forward to uh, coloring a page in this. And then after watching a video on Pixie's projects, uh, she posted a flip through of the Art of Coloring, a 100 Years of Years of Wonder. It's a Disney book and it looked pretty interesting. I like the fact that there is a bunch of history and some uh, knowledge in it. So this is Disney from like my era. Um, I'm not up on all the latest Disney movies, but I definitely uh, am familiar with all the original Disney and I like the fact that uh, there was history and uh, old pictures in this so 
I look forward to uh, coloring in this and uh, thank you for enabling me. And so Amanda's uh, generous gift allowed me to get both of these books. So thank you very much, Amanda. And then we go on to something that my sister bought me and she is supporting my new hobby of diamond painting. So this is what she bought me. A lovely gift from my sister in the States was a diamond painting uh, storage unit. Oops, sorry. It's with the zipper case. It uh, was from Amazon. It's the um, 66, I believe, little tubes with the screw top lids. And then it also came with some extra uh, tools and some baggies and uh, wax and two sizes of trays. So, and they all fit nicely up here. I also have the extra trays that came with. She also sent me six diamond painting. So a variety pack. And I've put them into this large portfolio uh, that I bought a couple of months ago. These, right now, the portfolio is full of diamond paintings that are not done. Um, and as I finish them up, they will go back into this portfolio. But I will show you. I'll turn the light off so there's no glare. And I'll show you the pictures with the diamond paintings that she bought. So there's this one. They're all 30 by 40. So this is a beach scene, uh, the tree and stuff. This is a tree. So we've got the white tree and then the uh, dark tree on top. Then we have an elephant. So there's a, he's spewing water, multicolored water. And then there's an elephant laying here. So that one's very pretty. This one is of a girl with facing the opposite way. So it's a profile picture with a um, flower in her hair. This one is a peacock. Very colorful. And this one is one that I'm going to probably try and do in May because it is a mermaid. So uh, this goes along well with mermaid. So I probably will pull this one out and do that. But I just want to say big thank you to my sister for the diamond painting items. Two other things that I bought from Michaels is they were still having their Copic uh, buy one, get one at half price. So I picked up two additional Copic Chow markers. I am keeping track of which ones I have of, on inventory uh, on my phone using the Copic app. And it's an app that Amanda Colors uh, highlighted in one of her videos. And I strongly recommend if you have Copics that that's a really good way to keep track of what you have and what ink refills you have and all of that. So um, very handy tip from Amanda and I'm uh, enjoying using that app. I also picked up a little rolly cart and I will show you it here. The rolly cart is smaller than a standard one and fits nicely under my desk. So thank you very much for watching. Thank everybody very much for the gifts and the well wishes. Um, it was very nice. I had a nice quiet uh, birthday. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a full year of tackling some of these beautiful pages in these books and using the supplies that I got for my birthday and also the supplies that I already have in my stash and using them together. I hope you're having a colorful and creative week and I will see you on Friday in my next video. Until then, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.